everyone's viewing, this is a Titanosaurus. This is a 16 litre model uh, replica of a beast that walked the earth 100 million years ago. So to start with, we had to design a steel frame, a steel frame which supports the whole animal. As you can imagine, a neck this long has got a lot of counterweight on it. So we ensured that the materials we used were lightweight, so we decided to use polystyrene foam as the, the form. It was about 20 big pieces of uh, foam, and this material we've used to build the uh, skin is also a lightweight modelling material. So all in all, this whole creature that would have, um, as a live creature, weighed possibly 20 or 30 tonnes, now weighs less than one tonne. So it can be transported easily, it can be moved around easily, and it's going to be safe on display. These teeth have all been cast. It's a sauropod, so it's a large herbivore. So they're slightly backward facing, obviously, so when they tear the... Um, the leaves off the trees, they've got a fairly good hold. Um, there's a tongue in there. Uh, the detail coming up here is all a flesh-like uh, translucent finish. The eye is a glass eye. It's a cross between an um, elephant's eye and a, and a bird's eye. So we've added detail to this. Now we've given it a slightly bird-like uh, eye ring. So there's little details like that that just help to uh, make this thing come alive. The skin of this dinosaur has been designed in such a way to replicate what they think the skin of a real Titanosaurus looked like. Where they found footprints of this particular dinosaur, they've also found skin impressions. And when they were excavating a dinosaur dig site and found all the footprints of this dinosaur, they also found a small area where the dinosaur they thought had laid. To get a skin-like finish on something like this, it requires a, a lot of uh, uh, skill. So, just firstly, just building this, the sculpting this skin detail in took a lot of time. It took three months, uh, about four or five people working on this to build the skin. So we developed our own modelling medium to be laid up onto the foam structure underneath. The paint job itself is a, is a, is a task. So, painting a a sculpture to make it look skin-like requires a whole lot of different uh, techniques. So we've tried to achieve a depth in this, so it required airbrush, sponging, hand painting, little fine details with a little fine brush, rubbing back to get a little bit of an age to it. Um, there's so many little tricks that we've used. It's taken us a while and we've stood back and we've come back to it and we've added more and more over time. After all that effort, we're really happy with the result.